Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to plot market data in a candlestick chart and after that we'll, we'll see uh, some improvement of this, uh, this chart. So first of all, of course, we will rename our Jupyter Notebook file as for instance as candlestick chart. Okay, now we import our packages and libraries. Okay, first uh, we need to import the Yahoo Finance as a YF to to download the live data and then to to print the candlestick chart we need to import from plotly the graph object obgf as go and uh, okay the first part we need to download data so i will be pretty fast here because in i've dedicated some some previous videos to this so if you're not familiar with what I'm doing right now, I suggest to to watch them. Okay, I, I select this doc name, which is a whole device, maybe it's quite famous this time. And uh, the the period, the time window to watch is one day, and the time interval of each observation on the market is two minutes. And now we can download our data. So from YES, we choose download. And our inputs are the tickers, which is the stock name, which is ad.af. Then we have our period of evaluation, which is t, and finally the interval of, um, of observations, which is we call it delta t. And uh, just to let you know, I print the last five elements of the, the data frame table. With using the dot tail command, so you can see that we have the open, the high, low, close, adjust the close, and the prices, and then the, the volume of traders. So now we can pass to the actual important part of this video. Okay, first of all, we need to declare our figure. So fig.go.figure. Okay, now we add our candlestick chart so fig dot add trace and the inputs are go dot candlestick which already exists and here we have some inputs which are x equal to data dot index then we have open which is equal to data of of course as you see in the in the table above it's called open with the capital O. Then we, I do some copy and paste here because we have some of these. So instead of open, we have high. Then we have the low and finally the close. Low and finally close. And we just miss one input again, which is the name. We call it, for instance, market data. Okay, and this is the first part. So if I run this, we already, oops. Of course, uh, here is an equal. If you, if I run this with no mistakes, you already see a first part of the candlestick, but we want to do now some improvement of this. Before doing this, uh, I, I also tell you that if you want to focus just on a specific time window, which will be needed later on, um, and I explain you why. This is uh, possible, and you just with your with your mouse, and then if you keep your mouse on if your cursor on uh, one of the candles, it will show you the the date and time, the open, high, low, and close prices, and if it's positive or low or low or negative with respect to the the previous two minutes in this case interval. Okay, now we can add some some improvements, for instance, the titles, because otherwise it would be difficult to read uh, this, uh, this graph. So we, up, we use the update layout function of the fig, and then we have title. For instance, we have live market data. And then we, we add the y-axis title y-axis title which is the stock price of course 
and uh, yeah, of course it's per share in this case. If I run again, you see our the title of the full candlestick chart and the the y-axis title. Now we can add some some three or four buttons because it, during the trade it, it may be important to to focus just on a specific time window and to do this you can do this by hand for instance suppose that you want to check the, just the, the last hour of the the trade date and you can do this but this of course it's an approximation because you're not sure of the, this that this is uh, exactly one hour so we can be more precise and we will add some buttons right here below the the title so and to do this we use the update x axis sorry x axis of oh, range slider we keep it visible so range slider visible equal equal true and so the principle equal to then we have the range selector equal to here we have the dict function i indent correct the dict function and now we just have a single input which is the buttons and we will have a list of these so list of and here we have all the list of the button we want to we want to add so for instance we add just a couple, but you you wanna you can do that how many times you want. So count equal to, for instance, uh, one hour. So one. And here the the unit of measure. So uh, no, here before we have the label, which is for instance in this case uh, hour to date. So uh, which will tell you just look at the final hour of the, of our data then we have the step which is the unit of measure which is hour so one hour and finally we have the the step mode which in this case as it since it's hour to date the step mode will be to date okay now we can for instance add another one and uh, okay, we let's say we wanted to add the the free um, or maybe even even better. We add uh, just minutes because we have already seen the the hour the hour uh, unit of measure. So just to change, so dict count equal to thirty. The label equal to thirty minutes. So thirty min or m then we have step in this case will be minute and finally we have the step mode the step mode which in this case is backward so what does this mean it means that you start from the final uh, final data you have so in this case the, the closure price of uh, of the 25th of November at, at uh, half past 5 p.m. and then we you go backward by 30 minutes. So let's run this again. What is this st? Okay, you can see it's right exactly right before, but in plus you have this button. So you press it and it's hour today. So you see from the last hour. And then you have 30 minutes, so the last 30 minutes. Hour to date means uh, from the, uh, let's see it uh, as an example. Here it will, it finishes at half past 5 p.m. So hour to date means at exactly 5 p.m. If you want to add the 60 minutes, it's just enough to do this. So 60 then here you put okay you can leave hour to date and then here you put 60 minutes backward again and as you can see if i now press hour to date you see the the last hour from half past 4 pm to half past 5 pm then you double click on the chart and you go back to full screen mode and, uh, and that's it we've seen how to 
print to plot a candlestick chart using market data and if you're not familiar with downloading market data please watch my previous video in which i explain you everything almost everything about this uh, this library what yahoo finance library and uh, see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching